you get started off like we did when you put five on the board in the first and then you get another one in the second and all of a sudden it's six to nothing you think it's going to be a so-called roller coaster ride just have fun well you start thinking like that and all of a sudden it's six to two and they're one runner from having the tie and run at the plate it's a credit to ju the way they kept getting after it they they didn't lose their focus, but on the other side of the ball, Florida State kept coming at them, doing everything they could. Give JU a lot of credit, but give Florida State credit for just staying tough. Thought Carp had a good outing. We were uh, hoping he could go to close to 120, but he was at 105. We had 104 on our calculation. But anyway, we thought that was best to get him out of there. Jonah came in, did a very good job. We were, of course, hoping to get him not to where he wouldn't be available Friday at Georgia Tech. He threw uh, 42 pitches, so that will probably throw him out of Saturday, uh, Friday's game. But we'll see. He'll have a day off. It was a good win for us. Very, very pleased with uh, the way we got after it. Both teams played airless baseball. It was a good game to watch. You mentioned Carp. Carp's not, uh, he's not making it easy on you. Kind of the run he's on lately, kind of trying to push his way into the weekend rotation. It's always good to have competition. I'll keep those three going this weekend on their toes because, yes, we're not turning our back on Andrew Carp. Is that the kind of potential you can see from Swanson and Albert? In, in batting practice, they put on shows. Do you see that kind of coming around with them offensively in the games? Yeah, Cooper is, uh, is, is a guy that is, is a very good athlete. Uh, he can play a, a number of positions. Um, distance, uh, distance seems to have a, a huge thrill in golf and baseball. But I'm going to tell you all something. That ball he hit out of the ballpark, the only way I can describe that, that was gargantuan. That ball was smoked. You don't see a ball hit the road where he hit it. You'll see it occasionally in left center, but that ball he hit. I haven't seen many hit like that, guys. That was fun to watch. It's a nice promotion to have for the new Tell you what, uh, uh, being a, a guy who enjoys this game, it's uh, I kept up with the leagues when I was a kid, and Cool Papa Bell, Roy Campanella, Buck O'Neill. Satchel page. I've got books that I remember vividly. I'm trying to think of the gentleman that was so fast. Makes me mad. But they said he was so fast he could cut the light out and be asleep before the room got dark. Cool pop about, I think. Also said he, he hit, a ball, bell. Yeah, hit a ball up the middle and hit himself in the butt slide in the second. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't heard of that one. <laughs> <laughs> it was just it was just so, it was such a great time in my life to keep up with baseball.
fact, I think I'll go home tonight and pull that book out and read it again and look at pictures that it'll bring back a lot of memories. Coach Cal, uh, you know, last year he kind of struggled a little bit play. This year he seems to be, you know, he seems to have found his groove. He's hitting well. He's, he's over 300. He had three more hits tonight and a home run. He's found a little bit of power. Just what can you attribute his success at the plate to this year? I think like any good hitter, if you look at hitters, if they don't chase mess and they can see and they got little hands quickness and they got forearm strength, they can be successful. He wasn't that kind of player last year. He chased, pitchers took advantage of it, and he just didn't adjust. That's why he struggled. This year, they're not getting him out with that mess down. He's not chasing that stuff. It's all a credit to him for saying, you don't want to throw the ball over the plate, you gonna try to get me out down here? Ain't happening, Captain. And he is sitting there. Look at the number of walks he's got this year. He's setting himself up to get better counts. The 2031s are coming a lot more. They're not trying to get him to chase 2031. He's already proven he won't do it. So they got a decision to make. Throw a curveball over the plate or try to throw a fastball by him. And uh, I would say the other reason he's having success is he's using the entire field. I mean, the ball down the right field line was, a, that was smoked. Very pleased with his approach. He's an outstanding leader, one of our team captains, and he's setting a good example. Anything else for Coach? Okay. I'll leave you all.